Hey, my name is Braden, and I'm going to the Westminster Dog Show um, at Madison Square Garden on acid. See you guys tomorrow, or later today. Whoa, look at that smoke. So, how many times have you tripped acid in your life? Zero. Zero times. Today's the first time. But I've never been to a dog show either, so... So it's two firsts. It's two, two new things for me today. There's actually going to be 986 dogs competing today. That's a lot of dogs. What do you think it's going to be like tripping for the first time at the biggest dog show in the world? I think it would be fun to go there not on acid, so on acid it's probably going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be way better. Yeah. I'm going to try and find dogs with good vibes, fluffy dogs, um, nice dogs. I'm kind of scared of seeing a greyhound. What are your three favorite dog names? I'm not really for naming animals. Not at all? Not really. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. Are you seeing anything? Is it have butterflies in your stomach or anything? No, I feel totally like relaxed. It's like there's a lot of fucking birds out here. Yeah. There's actually no birds around. <laughs> there's at birds all right over now. there. There's birds on that thing. There's yeah. birds on that roof. They're all making noise. <laughs> on the roof, I heard a lot of birds chirping like crazy. Things slowly started getting confusing. It heightens your senses. You can hear like sounds from like really far away and like things that aren't necessarily like really interesting. It is extremely interesting. Let's go. Let's do this. We got into a car, which I was not excited about after we left the roof. Taking acid in New York is a little bit crazier than taking acid, let's say like on a lake or in the woods, which I would prefer. There's nowhere to go in New York where there's no one at, especially at Madison Square Garden, like you're, you're stuck there, so you have to enjoy it. When we got there, we had absolutely no idea what we were gonna do. That dog is crazy. <laughs> it was sort of freeing to just be like that dumb and just like to just like take everything in and be like, it's okay, like I'm I know that I'm on like drugs. I was just very aware of where I was at and like the types of people that I could go and talk to. We're here at the 136th Westminster Dog Show, and uh, we're going to talk to Clyde Berry, who's uh, a very well-known dog owner. Excuse me. Would you <coughs> one, one, sec, one second, Gary. Sorry, what, what was your name? Jeff Brocker. Jeff, oh, I thought you were someone else. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't him. I definitely took advantage of, like, uh, the press pass, because you could basically, you had like free reign on the whole place. Just do whatever I wanted, because like, we had a camera, so like people would talk to you, you were like validating. It was pretty empowering. <laughs> These two ladies uh, know more about dogs than I do. First of all, do you both, um, do you both breed, breed dogs? We both breed, okay. both Are dogs. you both doggers? <laughs> yes. We're both dog people. Is that a term? Doggers? No, dog people. Dog people. The lighting's really nice in here. Yes. Makes it nice to take yes. photos and the colors. Are you here just for, to see the dogs? No, I, I'm a healer. Oh, you are? You're definitely the prettiest girl at the dog show. Oh, well, thank you. So. Thanks. I really like the older man who told me the joke about how women at cat shows are fatter. <laughs> you know, the difference between a dog show and a cat show 
is in the cat show, the women are really heavy because you don't have to run the cats. And at a dog show, people are a lot f slimmer. So I've come to the conclusion dog shows are healthier than cat shows. There wasn't really press walking around and just asking people questions. So they probably thought I was like really official. So I feel like I could go up to anyone and just sort of like play with their head and just like do whatever I wanted. Can I ask you a few questions about the show? Sure. Just about um, what your name and... Uh, okay. Is she wearing a diaper? She's wearing um, a panty. A panty. Yes, yeah, time little, of the month. That's a little sexier. Yeah. I didn't know dogs had a time of the month. They do. About every six months. I didn't know that. Yep. That's like a time of the year. Time of the year. Yes, yeah. there you go. What's your name? Matt. Matt and, Stander. And who are you with? Dog News. Dog News. Um, I don't know much about Dog News, but uh, if you could tell us a little bit about what you guys it's do. It's a vertical publication for the show-going public. It's been printed weekly for the last 28 years. Wow. Okay. That's about it. I do it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I started to get more and more confused as it started like taking effect more. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, some years, sometimes they'll go for... There was a point where I was just like holding a microphone and had no idea what they were saying. Like I, I could see them talking, I could hear it, but like none of it made sense. There was this fan there. I think it was coming from the top, but it was just like like blowing my, like, my face. It's pretty good. I actually don't want to leave. You guys, are we leaving? I remember thinking it felt like I was like in a desert and there was like like sand like whipping around me and stuff and it was like one of the best feelings and I was trying to like do interviews in it. <laughs> so horrible. Today we showed black Russian terriers, powerful terriers, Britneys, Mishlas, Goldens, and Labradors. Oh my god. I just like walked around and ended up in the bleachers. I was kind of alone, but like there was tons of people around, so I, I kind of spaced out for a while, and that was really nice. I was tripping the hardest probably when I was sitting in the bleachers, like by myself. The ceiling had all these like crazy lights, and I, I remember kind of tripping out, like looking at the lights, and it just felt really good and like, comforting. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's a good one. I came away with a new appreciation for dog owners. They're very serious about their dogs. Like it's, it's like their child, and it's their life. That's what they live for. What's your favorite thing about this dog? Everything. Everything. No, you have to pick one thing. One thing. His his personality. Yeah. He's a sweet dog. He's an excellent dog. This is what he loves to do. Hey. Saying he loves to show. I like dogs, but not like on that level. So. I remember tripping, but like it's weird, I don't remember a lot of it. I just remember like bits and pieces and being really confused. I didn't really have visuals, like things were a little brighter and stuff, but I did, there was like dogs were like flying through the air, which is what kind of, I was kind of hoped that would happen, but I kind of, I'm glad it didn't because I probably would have really freaked out. The cool thing is I never had a bad experience. I was kind of scared that I was going to like freak out, but I, I didn't at all. I had like an amazing time. Definitely an overall good experience on acid. Sorry, mom. <laughs> We did like 10 takes of trying to like walk out the door. And I just remember it was so hard. <laughs> come on, dude, come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was sort of scared that wasn't gonna leave though at a point. Like I was like, am I gonna be like this forever? 